Okay, so recently I experimented with red cabbage dyeing um, yarn and I forgot that I'd over dyed one of the yarns. Sorry, my sewing pan just fell. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I've got any of that merino yarn left to dye so we can try that. Also, I wanted to try pickled red cabbage, a jar of red cabbage, rather than fresh red cabbage to see if it works um, because I'm not going to eat a whole red cabbage and I don't want it to go to waste so if I can have it in a jar I can just save it for when I need it. So let's try it. <laughs> Okay, so we'll start showing you what we have here. Lots and lots of fibres ready to dye. So we've got some of this yarn that I dyed before. Uh, some more lace. Uh, just, I think that's cotton lace. And then we've got some of our fibre that we um, started dyeing with originally. So. In the last video, I dyed, I over dyed some of this yarn that I'd been or previously dyed with red, uh, red onion. So I want to see how different that is this time. We've got some cotton. Uh, this is a piece of that thicker yarn that's already been dyed with orange food coloring, but there are still a lot of blank spots on that. So we're going to try that. I've rolled up a blank that I made into sort of a little roll. So there is that. We've got some little bits of lace. I've not tried dyeing these yet so we'll see how they go. Everything's just been soaking for probably about half an hour. It's just a bit wet. Okay let's try and set the camera up so you can see what I'm doing. All right so hopefully you'll be able to see that. I've got a jar. <coughs> We may need to use two jars today. Um, so what I'm going to do is let's get some of this merino. This is like a sock, you know, a very thin, lightweight yarn. So we'll pop that in the bottom. And maybe some of the lace. That's so we can compare it to the a uh, non-pickled variety. Okay, so then I'm going to pop this in here because I don't really want to be fishing out this cabbage from my fibres. I just think this will be a lot easier. Oh, it smells. Let me just pop the lid back on that for a sec. Right. Let's close that up. So it's just like a muslin bag in there. Let's start adding some hot water. Just a touch. It's very pink. Let's add our little donut in there. Water over and over again, and some of this undyed yarn. Let's get some sari silk and some of this scarf silk. bits and some of this I think this is linen possibly you might see some of that in another video upcoming let's get some more of this in uh, and a chunk of that 
this air vac stuff that claims to be silk. Yeah, that's a lie. <laughs> Ooh, are we going to do it? Shall we cut some of this off? I don't think we're going to get a hole of that in. We can try. Let's go for it. Yeah. Right. More hot water. Now I'm not going to add any mordant or vinegar because this should already have all that kind of stuff in it. Right. <laughs> so. You can see the colour is spreading. I think that's mostly from the juices that we put in there. So we've still got a lot of cabbage left to play with. I might have to top it up with some more vinegar or something so it doesn't go off. Uh, so yeah, let's see. Oh, the lighting is terrible. Right. Let me just give you a close up of that. Okay, so you can see obviously at the top we've got lighter layers. Hopefully, the colour will travel. It did take a while for the raw red cabbage to work its way through, so we'll give this uh, a little while. It is supposed to get nice and sunny again outside, so we'll stick this outside and see what happens. Okay, so let's quickly give this a wash. I'll probably fast forward through me actually washing. But you can see we've got pinks down here, blues up here. This doesn't seem to take a lot of colour, but some. So I might try putting that in some more um, red cabbage because I didn't put a lot in this. So I might just restart that experiment. So we give it a quick wash. Let's give it some more water. I'll say I'll fast forward through it. I've got a feeling that it's all going to go sort of bluish anyway once we've rinsed it off. Oh, there's still quite a lot of colour coming out. Mm, it's been about three, four days. I shall see that right, and get my jar right. Tub of oh, smells. This tub's a bit too big for the sink, it's okay. Well actually, maybe we don't need to, oh look at that. Okay, interesting. Ugh.
Okay, so. Uh, the stuff that you've just seen me rinse out, I haven't got with me. It's still drying, but as you saw, most of it completely failed. The silk kind of took on a dark greenish colour. And the lace had a slight pink colour to it. So, and this cotton has a slight colour to it. Um, my silk here is bluish, purplish colour. It's got a little bit of colour on it. So, I would say it's a mixed bag. This is sort of slightly pink. Um, the superwash, absolutely, 100%. It just soaked up that lovely colour. Um, cotton, nah, not really. I am trying to use what was left of the colour that was left in the jar and a bit more of this cotton that I've mordanted to see if that makes a difference, but I don't hold out high hopes. So, yeah, I would say if you've got a super wash or something that you know is going to take on colour really well, then yes this will work if it's something that you struggle to get to take on color then absolutely it's probably not going to work um so yeah very interesting experiment um it definitely let's have a look in my little book and compare to the fresh cabbage so this is the red cabbage in a jar and this is the fresh cabbage see we did get some colour on here with the fresh cabbage and we mordanted that one. Um, but yeah, and we got a bluish colour on the lace, whereas on this one it was more pink. Um, And the jar originally contained a lot of the pickling juice, so I think a lot of the fibres that took on the colour soaked in that pickling juice and then whatever was coming out of the actual cabbage wasn't pigmented enough to soak into the fibres. But this is not the end. <laughs> so we had this which was dyed we had the black beans and then we dyed with the cabbage over it and we got this dark bluish colour. Uh, so I want to experiment with the jar cabbage with the superwash. Um, and what I want to do is I want to use the black beans and the jar red cabbage in the same soda dye pot. So we put the beans in the bottom, then our fibres and then the cabbage on top. And we'll see what kind of colours we get out of that. So I am mordanting some more of that really thick, um, chunky yarn that did well with the uh, food colouring but didn't take on much dye here, like this one. Um, this the cotton that I've just washed that's also got a slight greenish tinge same as this so I still don't know really what that is it says it's silk but I don't know I feel like it's cotton but it's just weird it always seems to go this greenish colour but hey ho I am going to keep trying these experiments so like I say Black beans and red cabbage is the next one and I'm probably going to start setting that up today since I've got my fibre mordant in. Um, so stay tuned for that if you're enjoying and thank you for watching. Bye.